Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a very recent discovery of an unusual meteorite right here on Earth with a very strange mineral inside of it. It was claimed to be even harder than diamond, but today we're going to discover what we actually discovered in Russia in this particular meteorite. Welcome to What The Math. So the object you see on the screen right now is actually an asteroid and it has nothing to do with the meteorite that we discovered because this object here is really large but the one that we found was only a small nugget. As a matter of fact, the story goes that it was several Russian explorers trying to discover basically gold. They were looking for gold nuggets and they saw something really bright and shiny in the snow um, and were super excited because it was yellow. So they actually thought it was a gold nugget that was about this big. Turns out that it was not that, but nevertheless, they discovered something very unique and very, very unusual. But before we talk about this, let's take a look at the planet Earth being bombarded by meteorites. Now, pretty much every single second of our existence on Earth, we've been bombarded by a tremendous amount of uh, space dust, space materials, space rocks, you name it. Uh, as a matter of fact, pretty much everything we have that is um, heavier elements, like for example, things like gold, platinum, um, even things like iron that are on the actual surface, um, have usually been delivered to Earth by meteorites. So in other words, these rocks delivered quite a lot of stuff onto the surface because um, pretty much everything that's heavier than uh, rock, heavier than silicates, would actually technically have sunk into the planet if it was uh, there from the beginning, from the creation of Earth. So most of the things we find on the surface came from meteorites, although maybe not in such a spectacular, in such a dramatic explosion that you see on the screen right now. The rock we've discovered um, came to Earth only a couple of years ago, back in 2016. And what we've discovered inside this unusual rock that you see on the screen right now is an element currently known as Uakitite. It's actually named after the region where um, the actual element was discovered. And it's essentially a kind of a compound of uh, nitrogen mixed with some other stuff, specifically vanadium. So its chemical formula is technically VN, vanadium nitrite, but it actually has a lot of other components in it. And what makes it very unusual is that it's extremely hard. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you the properties of this element right here from the mineral database. Um, it's completely recently discovered that it's basically 2018 approval. And it says here that um, its formula is VN and it's a type of a uh, Osbornite. Now this is actually a, another mineral that we discovered only in meteorites. So all of the stuff can only be formed in space. We haven't really been able to find anything like that here on Earth that was created on Earth because it needs to have space conditions to be created. And there's actually two elements that are very similar. Uh, one is called Carlsbergite and one is called Osbornite. Uh, so for this particular element um, and also for Osbornite, what's really unique about them is that their hardness is very, very close to that of diamond. Basically, they're as hard as uh, most elements even get on Earth. And so you could technically use these minerals to essentially grind through anything. As you probably know, diamonds are extremely hard, so you can actually cut through pretty much any material with them. And these uh, space rocks that um, we've been discovering have these minerals that are very, very close to diamond in hardness. Now, the recently discovered Uakitite was actually claimed by the press to be harder than diamond, but that's not actually true. The pieces we discovered were super, super, super tiny. They're like 25 times smaller than a grain of sand. And because they're so tiny, we can't really establish its true hardness because we just don't have enough of them stuff to even test it. But we have similar minerals on Earth and they are very close to diamond in hardness. And so a lot of these vanadium nitrite uh, minerals can actually be used for uh, essentially production purposes because they're really, really good at cutting things. And obviously they can be used to replace diamonds. But because they're more rare, technically, they would be even more expensive than diamonds, hypothetically speaking, at least. 
Now, what is interesting is that this is the first time we discovered this particular mineral. And what's really unusual is that we haven't really seen it anywhere else on Earth. Now, that's very strange because we get uh, stuff coming to Earth all the time. We always get all kinds of asteroids, all kinds of uh, basically space dust coming to Earth. So the chances are is that we've actually seen this mineral, but we just didn't really take notice. Uh, unless, of course, this is the first such rock that landed on a planet, in which case it actually creates a lot of questions. Like, for example, where did it come from? What created it? Did it actually come from a completely different star system? So there's definitely a lot of questions that need to be answered. Uh, but luckily for us, we've been discovering quite a lot of rocks recently. And hopefully in the next few years, we'll be able to actually establish not only the origin of this particular mineral and this particular asteroid, but also be able to predict uh, where we can find more of this stuff, especially if we want to use it for uh, production purposes, for basically industrial purposes, because it's definitely really, really good in terms of replacing diamonds. So anyway, so that's uh, the recent discovery. We don't unfortunately know anything else about this particular um, mineral, and also we don't really have any papers or any studies about it yet, because it's still a very recent discovery. Uh, hopefully in the next few months we'll have some kind of a publication that will study and analyze this in a little bit more detail. But until then, that's all we know about uh, Uakitite and about this beautiful and unusual golden looking rock that's not really gold. So unfortunately for the uh, discoverers of this rock, it's not gold, but turns out it's something even cooler. Anyway, hopefully you learned something from, from this video and hopefully you'll subscribe if you still haven't and maybe even share this video with someone who enjoys learning through video games and wants to know more about space sciences. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye bye.